Good morning, YouTubers. Um, I got something new today that we're going to install in the Jeep. Uh, something Mopar just released. Uh, a lot of people have been waiting for this. Um, I jumped on it as soon as I saw they came in stock. Uh, I did get this from a Mopar Direct um, uh, distributor. Uh, let's see where did it come from. BAM Wholesalers. Uh, and they sell a bunch of Mopar parts and uh, pretty reasonably priced. Uh, so, without further ado, let's show you what I got. It is the Mopar um, trailer brake controller for the Jeep Gladiator. Uh, this has been on back order for a while. Uh, and what this will do is it allow me to pull my trailer and use the trailer brakes. <clears throat> the, ele the electric brakes the trailer comes with and I've uh, definitely been needing this uh, I've been using an aftermarket one on my other Jeep and obviously my Raptor comes with the brake controller installed but um, this one the Gladiator does not so we're gonna put this one in today uh, we're gonna see how difficult it is if, if at all it's difficult uh, it does come with the module This, I believe, mounts under the steering wheel. So it comes all the wiring harnesses, the knobs, um, and the controller. Now, I'll show you where this is going to mount. <clears throat> so this is going to take the place of the 12-volt charger or cigarette lighter, if you will. <clears throat> but we're going to remove this and install the new brake controller here. Keep up with me. We'll get this mother installed. Let's do this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is remove this. And uh, you're just going to need something to pry this off with. This side too. I know, I know it sounds horrible, but it really isn't. They're just clips that locked in there. Okay, remove all the clips. Remove the one for the starter, self-stop starter system, and the other one for the HVAC system, and get those out of the way. And then we're gonna need a Phillips head, which I forgot to bring with me, but I will get right now. Okay, you remove this one screw. And then this one will come out the same way. And there you go. There you go. Now that was a total pain in the ass to remove this one. It's really tight. All the factory connections were really tight, but uh, I got it off. So I just took the whole thing off just to make it easier to um, install this piece, um, take my time with it. Um, I might actually eventually make labels for these. I don't know if I liked auxiliary one, two, three, and four. Uh, maybe we'll name them for fog lights or something like that but anyway uh, let's get started on this piece and we'll get going okay so once you get this piece out and basically what you do is you push it from the back push in and there's a couple little tabs in there that you have to pry out and uh, i'm not sure if you could see them there but that's one of them the other side has the other one and that's what locks in this piece right here so once you put the once you pry it enough you should be able to push this out and this comes out forward uh, facing me and then once you do that then you can actually go in from the back and push these two tabs in 
Um, this one there, uh, you can't see it now, but I already took it out. And then this allows you to kind of pull, pull through there that way and then moves this housing. And then you're pretty much done. Now you're, um, we can install the, the actual brake controller into that place there. And you know, you just want to take your time. You don't want to break anything or scratch anything. So make sure you just take your time installing all the different pieces. Controller. Flux capacitor. And this is the piece we're looking for here. <clears throat> so these pointy edges here, that's what you want to be on top. Like so. Then the next piece is going to be the turn knob there. At the very between those two little fangs that we showed you earlier. That's where you want the one to be. Now from the back you install this piece and you want this to be on top like so then you want to do the push knob you want that to go there just like that and that is it for this piece. Um, we can actually go ahead and reinstall everything. Uh, we're going to need to run this wire underneath to underneath the steering wheel. That's what we will do. And that's what we will do. And that's what we will do. Oh, don't you like the sound of just plugs plugging in? Hey, wait a second. What do we do with this? We do nothing. We put it back in and use it for future things like adding more power to something else. Just move it out of the way. Here we go. Watch. Oh, Anaconda squeeze. This doesn't belong there. One of these one. Oh, baby, take it easy. Oh. <laughs> and it's gonna squeeze. Oh, and we're done. Like I said, I'm gonna move this one out of the way for future use. Oh, we forgot the big one. <laughs> That's what she said. this back in Ooh. what can I do it okay you can't be me you can say hello to my little friend two hours later oh it was already <laughs> it was already in Okay, now carefully, we will put this back where she belongs. Back here. Like so. We get this snap back in. <clears throat> It's like she never came off. It's like she never came off. Don't forget to put this screw back in. That's it, don't over tighten. Don't wanna break anything. And there we go. I'm gonna fish this wire through there next. See an opening. Come on, baby. 
You can do it. I said you can do it. Now that we got this fished in underneath here, we will put this back. So we'll connect our HVAC plug back in. We'll connect our start stop mechanism. And we'll get this hooked up like so. And then give it a nice little push. Oh yeah. Does it work? Oh yeah. Okay, now let's connect. What do the instructions say, Mike? Uh, I don't know, you don't read instructions. Will I do today? Okay, so now we move on to the next step. However, mm. we need to find out which steps in the instructions okay. you need to follow. A, if you have the factory wiring harness, okay. or B, if you don't, and if you don't, this requires a lot of extra wiring all the way from the back of the vehicle to the okay. cab and to the engine compartment. So it's a lot of extra steps. Yeah. My Gladiator has the factory mm. tow package already, so I'm assuming that is why I was able to locate the wiring harness. However, I did read that on some of the forums, some were not able to find the harness under the dash even if their jeeps came with the tow package so you'll have to do a little digging around just to inspect on whether you have that harness or not but hopefully you do now the next step after finding the harness is where to mount the control module um, i actually didn't mount it where jeep recommended it to mount it because it seemed like the wiring harness that came with the brake controller didn't reach all the way back. So I ended up finding a new location to, to mount the control module. And what I did is I mounted it right in front of the kick panel. Um, I don't show it in the video, but that is actually where I ended up mounting it. All right, so once you get the, route, the cable routed, you have to go in here and look for the other cable which is right here. Now, at first I couldn't find it. Um, had a hard time finding it, but I ended up just reaching up and I found this cable here. It was tied up there. A lot of people online are saying that they don't have the ADH package, but indeed they could have. Uh, it's just a matter of looking thoroughly to make sure. Okay, once I get all the zip ties nice and tied up, we'll put this back and snap it into place and we are done just realized something you're able to move the steering wheel up and in on this thing didn't know you could do that and then you lock it and you're set All right, well, that's it. That's all she wrote. So now the big test is to go give it a shot. Um, my trailer, I will go hook up my trailer and take it on a maiden voyage and see what we got. Anyway, thanks for watching once again. As usual, please like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any comments, uh, please leave them below. Um, until next time, peace. You still there? There we go. Oh, you're still there. Peace.